Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you, he said, if you will bow and worship me. Jesus said to him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou worship. Thou only shalt thou serve. Then the devil left him, and the angel came and attended him. We continue today with a final temptation that we are seeing given an account in Matthew chapter 4. In this temptation, the devil was trying to appeal to the human desire for power and exaltation. He was also alluding to Jesus ruling the earth without going through the cross. This will mean that Jesus forfeited the will of God and rebellion against God. Jesus responds with Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 13. He says that we must worship the Lord thy God and him only. In verse 8 to 11, we learn that Jesus overcomes every temptation. Jesus is at age 30. He prayed, he fasted for 40 days, 40 nights. He's tempted by the enemy. He overcomes each temptation and now Jesus is ready for his public ministry. Let us today serve our God with all our heart. Let us not make any object any person, anything, any desire come between us and our God. Let it not tempt us today. Let us not put any idol before our Lord. So today we see that Jesus would have overcome every temptation. In the same way, he was 100% man, 100% God. He was a God man. He would have been tempted in the same way that we would have been tempted. He came on this earth to show that we can stand. What he can do, we can do as well with the grace and the power of God. So God, today I pray that we will be able to stand, O oh God. I pray as the enemy comes in as a flood, O oh God, that we will be able to stand in the times of temptation. So I pray for a holy and a righteous generation who will stand in these last days with the spirit of the Antichrist is upon the earth, O oh God, where there's difficulty in knowing what is right and what is wrong, O oh God. I pray that we will tap into your spirit, O oh God, and your spirit will reveal to us, O oh God, that your word will come back to us, O oh God, and we will stand pure, righteous, and holy in the day of temptation. And we will overcome and be victorious in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.